welcome to savi it solutions today onwards we are discussing control structures in java programming okay this is common to all the programming languages this is the heart of the programming languages okay now onwards we are learning about control structures in detail in this video we are giving small introduction about control structures okay so why control structures and what is control structures and types of control structures in detail in this section in the next section onwards we need to learn one by one with a number of examples we are taking so already we mentioned that in this uh, series of videos in control structures we will learn almost all 52 almost all 50 to 80 programs in this section will be dealed okay it gives more impact and different types of techniques in using programming also we discussed in this series only okay now so the starting is why control structures and second one is introduction to control structures and the third stage we are discussing about types of control structures so why control structures so in traditional programming before not introducing control structures the programs are executed in sequential way okay but here the problem is occurred we cannot skip the statement means after this is 1 2 3 4 after 2 i need to execute 4 okay like the skipping from statement to statement is not at all possible in traditional programming so after introducing the control structures it can this can be solved in some other way i will explain in detail in the next part so the next one is group of statements run repeatedly group of statements run or execute repeatedly so i think these are the three statements these three statements run repeatedly until unless a condition is satisfied okay this is the main con core concept of the things otherwise how we need to do so at least run these the five state three statements repeatedly this is the first time second third fourth fifth like the lines are written like this and keep on doing it it is difficult for you the length of the code the memory occupation the processing time everything should be taken heavily when we are writing these times if we write in a simple way only three statements we write and only one condition we put it if the condition true it goes if the condition false it quit from the loop it gives more effectiveness okay that is what exactly we need to know so the third parameter is block or continuing a block of statements so the block of statements are running whenever certain condition is occurred we come out of the block or if you restart and continually executing the process is called block or continuing a block of statements these three facilities are not available pre in sequential programming so to overcome these three problems they are introducing control structures in programming okay so now the control structures are just a way to specify flow of control in programs any algorithm or program can be more clear and understood if they use self contained modules called as logic or control structures it basically analyzes and chooses in which direction a program flows based on certain parameters or conditions programs written in procedural languages the most common kind are like recipes having lists of ingredients and step by step instructions for using them the three basic control structures in virtually every procedural languages are sequential combine the liquid ingredients and next add the dry ones conditional if the tomatoes are fresh then simmer them but if can cannot skip this step iterate to beat the egg whites until they form soft peaks okay 
these are the different examples we are taking it now actually types of control structures are discussed okay so the control structures are divided into three types okay one is conditional control structures second one is loop control structures third one is un conditional control structures so conditional control structures means it check the condition if the condition is true we need to process next otherwise it goes to else part or it takes another decision loop of control loop control structures are a group of statements run repeatedly unconditional control structures are blocking or terminating so the three parameters are three solutions conditional control structures solve the skipping from statement to statement group of statements run repeatedly by with the help of loop control structures blocking or terminating a block of statements with the help of the unconditional control structures okay again this conditional control structures are classified into two more categories one is um decision making or branching second one is selection based okay in decision making decision making or branching means if this is true we need to execute these statements if this is false then execute other few statements this is the way we are giving instructions again this decision making or branching are classified into four categories one is simple if second one is if else third one is nested if else and last one is else if ladder okay selection based only one thing that is switch case okay now again the loop control structures are categorized into two categories one is finite loop control structures second one is infinite loop control structures again these finite control structures are divided into two things one is a while second one is do while so infinite is for for okay so now unconditional control structures are break continue okay and go to so this is the entire overview of control structures we need to learn what is simple if with more examples similarly if else nested if else else if switch while do while for continue break we will take number of examples means first simple if we will take one video next if else next nested if else like we will explain you each and every part of the control structures very clearly okay uh, that is what exactly so this is the most important topic please try to understand the concept very clearly we are making more videos and we also promise you that we will explain minimum 50 to maximum 80 programs in this section you will get complete idea about control structures and you are also getting comment on control structures very easily so uh, my dear friends in this video we discuss about why control structures what is control structures and types of control structures in detail thank you